As I look boomy right now, it's because I'm tired and I've had a really stressful day and yeah. So today, coming back with another video about how to love and accept yourself. Because lately, not like as if I'm, so I'm going to come in here as like I've had like a depressive episode. No, I've just been. You know, kind of thing where you're so occupied with stuff that you forget to do things that make you happy? Yes, yes. That's what I'm going through right now. But then I've always wanted to give tips on how to like really accept yourself and everything. So if you clicked on this video, and you came for tips, you are the right spot. Yeah. Anyways, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're seeing this. Welcome or welcome back to my channel for you. Hi, Kate, what's up? How's it been going? Period. <coughs> Anyways, I feel raspy. I've just been so tired. Like, let me know if I've been stressed. Like, this whole hair making thing has got me. So stressed, like jeez, lip gloss break. Because I'm stressed, that would be an excuse, an excuse not to be consistent. Like I had other this video that you're seeing right now. I had I was like post this on Wednesday, but you know, you know. Anyways, long intro, long intro. Let me be serious. Let me actually get into this video. So I want this video there for comfort. And also, let to be like as if I'm your bestie and we're having a FaceTime and we're having a one on one talk with each other because we care about each other very deeply. So yeah. I have this book for you, bestie. I don't know why my voice was cracking. Anyways. Also, you guys should buy me black pen. <laughs> Anyone that knows me knows I don't use black I don't use a blue pen to write, but I have to use a blue pen because there's no black pen anymore around me. And I was too lazy to walk outside to come by and see a flight. What the fuck? Okay, now we're back into this video. How to love and accept yourself. But let me give you guys a background story, you Because I have been through it. Anyway, is it that TikTok sound on TikTok? Why did I? TikTok sound on TikTok. I said that to know Nick Nelson and there'll be like, and anyone that uses that um, sound will be like, um, I said I knew myself when I was, yeah. I've been going out with Nick Nelson since I was 14. He likes rugby and Formula 1. I said I knew myself when I was one. I think I was 14, 15, I don't know. Yeah. I said it's like, how do I put it? Yeah, I said I knew myself when I was 14. That January, I don't know. I felt like, no one had to tell me. I just, know, I, just, I just felt like as if I was lost. Like I didn't know what I was doing in certain years of secondary school. I think anyone can relate to this, to be honest. I didn't know what I was doing in secondary school. I was just hovering around. I was just being social for being social sake. I was in a very misplaced manner and I didn't know what I was doing. So I took some time to myself and I was like, just um I don't know, I just went through Pinterest, just saw some to be honest, Pinterest saved my life, let me know like period. Pinterest saved my life. Pinterest, I just started looking up things on how to love yourself by myself. Yeah, obviously. I don't know, I just started looking up on Pinterest how to understand yourself and I just started writing things I think that was it was that year that I started journaling and I was that this journaling how is just part of my points but like I'm just saying but I was not like journaling journaling like per se I was more like it was more like a diary but I didn't call it a diary because that was sounded too childish I called it a journal where I wrote my day to day stuff I'll write what is happening to me that day and how I feel about it and I did that for like three months and to be honest I started feeling better I started like I started getting I was in tune with my emotions after that three months and I, I started to understand why I felt this way um what made me feel sad what made me feel angry I started processing my thoughts much better then later later on I started to know what journal prompts are <laughs> for all, all my life I'd always be writing my day to day life even if like a good thing happened i'll write it of course whatever happened that day i'll write today 
I was angry and something happened, I would go there and write. It was a, it was a really nice thing to be in tune with myself and in tune with my emotions. Anyway, that's what I said to like understand myself. And <laughs> have here is pointing out what exactly is making you not to accept yourself pointing out what exactly is making you feel the way you feel either it's like a physical like you're insecure about some kind of thing you had in your past something just like just pick something that made you feel me let me know i think i've said this before but i don't think i have been really insecure before i don't know I, I wasn't really, I think right now, I think it is now in my present age that I'm really not really insecure. I don't like my ears, <laughs> but I'm not insecure about it. If that makes sense. I just don't like them. So, but you will never see me hide. Okay, yes, I hide them, but I'm not insecure. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to be serious here. But, like, oh my, I don't think I was ever insecure about myself. Like, I always understood that I couldn't change my body. I was never insecure. I never like sat down and started saying, Oh, I hate this part of my body. I hate this. Um, I hate my hands. I hate my eyes. I hate my nose. I was never like that. I just, I just grew up. I was not even like as if my parents really contributed to that. It was more of a personal thing. I didn't really sit down and oh, I look so ratchet. <laughs> I just really didn't, I don't know, I don't know, but like, sit down, like, I think you need a book, you need a book and a pen for this, because you need to write these things down, to write them down, yeah. Not exactly what's making you feel this way, either it's physical, or some kind of past trauma, um, is it your parents, is it friends around you, find what exactly is making you feel like you don't deserve self-love and self-care? You need to understand that. You need to, to be honest with you. Like, you really need to. Then, you can start working up from there. The second thing I have here is journaling. Like I said, personal experience. I started journaling when I was, when I was 14 to this very day. And yes, when you start journaling, I bet you on this, you're not going to be consistent. After that three months, I mean, I stopped entirely journaling. I was like, oh, I think I don't think I should do that whole thing anymore. It's so stressed. The next week, I was back to my old self. Like, I really thought that I could heal myself in a very quick state like that. And to be honest, what was, what would made me to like actually start journaling and everything? I felt like I had built up emotions inside that I didn't really understand and I needed to like come to terms with them and like understand why I'm feeling this way. Yeah. I had this anger. I always felt the need. I don't know, I always felt the need to lash out anger to anyone just because. And it took me Pinterest to realize that I was deadly wrong. I realized that just because you are angry doesn't mean you should say the words you have to say. It took me a long time to stop doing that to be honest. Now I just keep quiet when I want something and I try to be quiet. I try because it's really hard. You know, at the end of the day, self this journey doesn't take a minute. It takes sometimes it takes people years, maybe months, centuries. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why I went backward. But it takes time before you can actually start changing. Change is not like Anyways, I'm still evolving. I'm still trying to like work on myself in every way I can. Back to journaling. Pinterest has a lot of journal prompts, but like even if you don't want to start going to journal prompts straight away, I have this book. I wrote I ah, wow. In this book I write um journal prompts like how do I feel today? Rate today, gratitude for the day. If I had this, what would I do? Just like normal Pinterest journal prompts. And in my other book, I left that in the other room. I have this really big book. I like that is that is that is a book that I still maintain. Like I still maintain my um, writing my day to day feelings in that book. So like I have, I'll, I'll write my. Oh my god! I don't, I don't think, I don't think I've told anybody about this. But I'll tell you guys because get my besties and go on a FaceTime. Yeah. 
So on my journal book, from the first I started journaling, I did this thing where I'll write, I'll write the dates, then I'll write um, the time, and I'll write the particular day. Now when I mean day, I mean like then I started counting how many days I have lived on this earth. And for example, if today is 5,456, I'll write hashtag 5,456. Then the next day, 5,457, and it keeps on going. No, no, that was, that, that's fun to me. Right now, I'm on my 6,000 and... I don't know. I, I can't remember right now. No, 6,437 or 44. I'll write the actual dates on the screen in front of you. Anyways, to this day, I still maintain that book of writing my day-to-day -day feeling, day-to-day -day occurrences. Like, yeah, because why not? I mean, you cannot all just pour your emotions in just five journal prompts. So I have the big book and this book. Third thing, don't compare yourself to others. Yes, I think this is, oh, I don't know what I think. This is a major problem between teenagers in fact, between everybody, what did I just, did I just say teenagers only? Between everybody, everyone, like, we see people on social media, we see people, in fact, let me even take social media out of this, because this social media will be the next thing I'll be talking about. People around us, we see somebody doing better than us, and we, we feel the need to do what they are doing. My dear, no, no, this life is a marathon, okay? We see our friends doing this, and we f we have we now have to feel the need, we now feel the need to do what they are doing when it's unnecessary. For example, maybe our friend bought a car, okay? Our I just said our friend. our friend bought a car, and we feel that just because he bought a car, I need to buy a car too. But you don't understand why he bought the car. You just understand that he bought a car. Why do you need a car? Like you have to, you have to understand this kind of thing. Like, just because this, just because this person is doing this, doesn't mean you have to do it. Like, I, I, was, I think I'm trying my best to explain. Like, I had something in mind. Like, this is always happening to me. I'm having these kind of videos. I have something in mind, and I really can't remember it afterwards. It's so annoying, so irritating. Because she's doing this, he's doing this, they are doing this. Doesn't mean you have to do it, sis. Okay doesn't mean you have to do it bro okay yeah be on your own lane be on your own pace be on your own race eventually you get there you get there there's no need of trying to try to downplay yourself just because the next person is doing somewhat higher than you than you think like in your mind you think person thinks better than you when she just bought something, she just bought something and you think that yeah, it's just like this whole thing is like a whole mental thing. You think they're doing better than you. Like, have it in mind that God put us here by ourselves. Even if you're a twin, you came only one by yourself, one. You came to this one by yourself. And you go by yourself. Have it in mind. You're on your own race, you're on your own path. So take things slowly and enjoy the moment. Don't be so in a rush to get something when it isn't your time yet. I think that yeah, I think that's the best way I can put this. Third thing, uh, third, fourth thing, control what you see on social media. So in the past three to four months, I think, I have been unfollowing people on Instagram. And it's not for like a not like a whole impressed be a Beyonce kind of thing no it's more about the more people you follow the more you get to see what you don't want to see it's not everybody you, you should follow like you know i reduce people that i follow to just friends family celebrities that i actually look up to fashion brands that i would want to work with or i just love their brand fashion influencers streetwear influencers i follow vogue i follow bafta works i want to be an actress i follow i don't know i follow what i want to be i follow the people that i that i i follow people that i choose to inspire me yeah because i want to be an actress someday 
I follow BAFTA Awards. I follow. I love fashion, so I follow Vogue. I follow British Vogue. I don't know what I'm Anyways. <laughs> I follow Met Gala. I follow most of the fashion brands that are really popular because I believe that someday I would work with them. One day I will walk. I'll be in a Met Gala. One day I'll host one. Because that's my dreams and my aspirations. Do you get? And let's be honest, it's not everybody that you should be following. Like, I realize that most, most of the people that I'm following, they were from my past. Like, people, let me pass, I mean, like, the people that I looked up to and I have passed. I'm, I'm more, more into, I'm more, more interested in that anymore. I decided to unfollow them. Like, my main account is for my main interests. Then my public spam account is for my older interests that I'm still interested in. Like, okay, for example, now, I'm still into YTK. I don't want my main following Y2K people anymore, Y2K trends or Y2K hashtags anymore. So I put out into my other spam accounts. Then my main is just for family, friends, actresses, I look up to fashion influencers, fashion, fashion, streetwear, fashion, everything. Like if you see my explore page, you understand what I'm talking about. Like it, what you see there is just fashion or some actress or some. I don't know, you, you, that's the best way I can explain this. Social media is a tool. You choose what you want to see. Show what you see on social media. Unfollow the people that you feel you don't need to be following anymore. And, most, and also, most of the people that I followed before, some of them we used to talk. But again, again, I felt the, I, I genuinely felt the need that I don't need to be following you anymore. We're not really friends anymore. And it was not really like a personal thing. I just, didn't feel the need I should follow you anymore and it's just a follow to be honest it's just a follow <laughs> like people take the social media things to such a wow it's just a follow if I'm following if I'm not following you it's not the world will not end like it took me such a while I'm like if someone's not following me back it's not really a big deal it's just a follow you can anyone can unfollow and it's just a like it's not that deep. Like I shouldn't be. It's not. I really don't need to follow you. It's not a. I could like your post, but I don't need to be following you. And you need to understand that fact. And once you understand that fact, you don't need to be following so many people. You will go back. Like now, if you are to genuinely go back, genuinely, if you are to actually go back to your following right now, you see the people that you follow. You be shocked on why you're following these people. Like you ask yourself, why am I following this person? What? Thing do they bring to the table that I'm interested in? Why am I feeling? You have, to, you have to get that. And I'm still checking people that I feel just to be sure that I like what I see and do you inspire me? Do I want that kind of a thing? I'm um, fifth thing. Words of affirmation, I say. Um, so sometimes I'm always like, I choose to breathe deeply whenever I get sad or angry. I'm saying this mantra every morning, whenever I get sad or angry or i start to cry or something really bad happens i sit down and take a deep breath and try to relax and instantly i stop it's not magic it's just a mental thing or another one i say is mind and my soul are my most precious thing and i will protect it being that i choose what i want to think <laughs> i don't have to explain that but like my mind is very precious and because i'm an overthinker i overthink every into aspect of my life i choose how i choose how much i decide to think about something so that i will not bring myself to some kind of deeper heartbreak yeah it's <laughs> under the same topic loudly appreciating yourself I'm the kind that will walk into a room and shout, I am the most beautiful person here and no one can tell me anything. Period. And I think my sisters are so tired of me shouting it every day. <laughs> but like, it's just, it, it just a, a thing I do so that I remind myself that I, am, that I am that girl. I remind myself so I will not, I don't know. I watch this thing on, I watch this thing on Cortese's channel, if you don't know Cortese, 
her doing something on Tuesday. Anyways, I watched this on Tuesday's channel where she was like, the mind needs to be minded every single time so that it can stick. If you keep on telling yourself to the, in the mirror, I am ugly, I am this, I don't do this, I am not good enough, you, your mind, oh my, your mind will exactly think that. I don't know if that's science, I don't know why, I don't know if that's proven or anything, but like one when you repeatedly remind yourself about something, it sticks. Ever since I started doing this, I think I started doing this when I was 15, I would tell myself, and as I started really tiny, I will be like, you're so pretty, you're really pretty, stop, so you're pretty, you're this, you're actually, and I started to see it. Like I bet you, if you think you're a gorilla today, in the next month of telling yourself that you're a fairy, I bet you on this, you are a fairy, you will think you are a fairy. And it's, it's not, this is basic logic, you start thinking that you are that. But it seems you just made me remember that post that Instagram Percy posted on her Instagram. I want to see the next clip right now. The mind is tricky and you have to play a tricky game for you to win a tricky situation. I kept on telling myself that I am that girl and I feel like I am and if anyone thinks I am not, that opinion, I think, yeah, I think this, because of this, it's even up to the fact that once you start thinking like, once you start telling yourself good things, what another person's opinion about you, another person thinks about you won't affect you. If someone tells you, like now, if someone tells me I'm ugly, that's even, my mind cannot do for that kind of thing. I'm like, me? Ugly? What? When I know, like, it's exactly, it's a, it's a mind thing. Because I know that I am not, I won't, I will not sit down in front of you or stand in front of you and start arguing with you saying that I am that the person is wrong or they are right or defend myself because there's no need of defending yourself when you know you're not ugly or when you know you're not what that person is saying. You should just walk away because there was there will be no need of going back and forth with the person that thinks but at the end of the day everyone is entitled to their own and entitled to their own opinion. And with that kind of opinion you won't even because you know that you're not ugly. There's no need of going back and forth with that person. Do you get where, do you get where I'm coming from? How do you appreciate yourself? When I mean loudly, I mean loudly. Go to your mirror right now. Yeah, I mean you. Let's think back about you. you. Go to your mirror and shout to yourself that you are a pretty girl. Go to the mirror and shout to yourself you are a handsome boy. There's no, like, anyone that thinks otherwise, they can think it. This whole world, we are all free. We all have the right to think, so. Why not? Stay away from is this six. I can't until I've lost the count because I'm just in with you. Myself. You. <laughs> Stay away from people that make you doubt yourself or are toxic. This is the same thing as choosing what you see as choosing what you see on social media. Choose who you decide to feed. Choose who you decide to invest yourself in. Choose who you decide to invest your time with. Yeah. Yes. Choose who you decide to spend your time with. Choose who you. It's not everybody should be mingling with. If this person is making you feel a certain way about yourself, you have the right to back away. Friendship is not by force. You can tell that person, hey, I don't feel like I want to do this with you anymore. Tell that person, if that person has like a problem. You tell the person, don't go behind that person's back to them. Tell someone else that this person is this person. Just tell the person to her face, on his face, and tell them, I feel like this friendship is not working, or you, you give me bad energy, or some kind of a thing, and you walk away. I don't, I don't mean walk away, I don't mean walk away. I think that both of us have been enemies. This, I'm not gonna tell you to go and break up with your, break your friendship with this person. No. I mean, I am, I'm saying that, but like I'm saying. <laughs> It's not gonna make that your enemy. More like keep it a far acquaintance, I guess. Far acquaintance, far friend. Friend is a strong word. Friend. The people misuse word friends. So I'll say far acquaintance. Someone that you know. Someone that's you know. Why did I say that twice? Anyways, stay from people that make you doubt yourself. Keep your circle small. Do not have to be everybody's friend, but 
can be friendly with everybody. Nice. Okay, do you understand? Let's put that there. This is the last one. And it has to be, I, I kept it at the last one because this is the most important one. Saving the best for the last. Loving and accepting yourself is definitely not easy. It's a really hard task. It takes a lot to start drawing yourself in, taking a step back to like understand what you do, who you are, why you do what you do and everything else. Yes, you, it's a personal thing, but at the end of the day, you need God, you need your faith, and if you're a Muslim, you need Allah. You need whatever you believe in, let that be your guide. My pieces are talk about God. You need God to be with you all the way, because you can't do it by yourself. Like, I mean, you really can't do it by yourself. Everything that we do every day, God sees us, God guides us. So definitely you will need him in every aspect of your journey. I remember my journey, my first journaling days and understanding myself, I would cry every night because I, I thought it was like self-therapy. I feel like journaling is self-therapy. I did this thing where I would word dump, no mind dump, anything that comes to my head, I'll write it down and whenever I wrote about things randomly, I will hear a voice asking me something and to trigger an emotion and I'll start crying. Like it was such an emotional thing for me because I'll, I'll be like, oh, I understand why I did this. I understand. And talk about journaling 24-7. It really helped my life. And whenever I'm journaling, ask anyone around. Whenever I'm journaling or writing my book, I don't like anybody talking to me or calling me or... Because I won't talk back. If I'm writing, I'm, it's like I'm in tune with myself and my mind so anything that comes to me it phases off it just goes away i said keep god with you let him be your guide talk to him every day even if you can't be every day but like talk to him let him let him know what you're going through so that's the end of today's video i hope you wrote everything i said i hope you finally understand how to accept yourself in this cruel world how to love yourself how to care and also loving yourself doesn't mean being selfish let's understand that because if you don't love yourself there's no way you will love people out there what you have is what you give if you're insecure you try and make sure everybody around you is insecure and if you love and accept yourself you want others to love themselves and love themselves and accept themselves. You want other people to be better. You won't say bad things to people. You Anyways, that's the end of this video. Just so with love and light. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> that's not me. But at the end of the day, just so with love and light with new content, new stuff. And because I've had a really stressful day, and if you have had a stressful day like mine too, and watching this right now and you need someone to talk to you someone that would understand you i'm here virtually even though you will not talk back to me on the screen if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe yeah i also have a live updates coming up soon but i don't know whether life updates video will come up or even me filming it but like i have something to say if you like this video give me the thumbs up and have a nice day. Bye!